Hello, my lovely people. This is your host, Queen Insomnia, and we are right back at it with another part of the 100 Baby Challenge. I know that this has been quite some time, and to be frank with you guys, I have been addicted to this Nintendo Switch. I know I'm probably late. I bet you everybody probably has already played it, but I have not. So about two weeks ago, I have got one, and I have been in love with it. Hopefully, I keep up that memento and get to get more games and play a lot longer, but I'm just obsessed with it right now. So, now I'm hopping right back into my challenge, and let's kind of see what's going on. So, last episode, the twin girls, they <laughs> that I'm going to keep the two girls here um, to help raise these three triplets. So, let's kind of see if I'm still going to do that, if I'm going to change my mind. Let's see when their birthday is. Uh, their birthday is next Wednesday, so that is some time. But yeah, I know I'm gonna need some help. It's a lot of kids, a lot of kids, a lot of kids. Um, and then maybe with them being here, they can kind of help. And it's Friday too, so shoot, this is a weekend. That means I have to actually build skills. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. So let's quickly put this cake up because you know I wanted to save that. Um, let's see how many hours this has until this expires. Six hours, so Miss Cheyenne must have just made that. Alright, so let's look at the kids. So let's see where he's at school-wise. He needs a bath. And homework not started. And he is a B student. Okay, so he should be pretty good. He should not have to do too much. Just do his extra credit, and they won't get him one more project. So he should be good for school. Oh, so he doesn't have a bladder. Okay, I see. And he needs his fun is up. So we're going to have him. Oh, let's make sure you got his knitting together because we don't want no slip ups. Yep, his knitting is together. So we are going to just have him listen to some old music or music. And it's going to be, it doesn't really matter. We're going to alternative. Awesome. So he's good to go for right now. And then let's check on these kids. So let's see. She is sleepy. Look, someone is already putting her to bed. Look at that. See, this is going to be a lot more easier. Yeah, someone's putting him to bed. And she's already at bed. Okay, I'm going to wake her up. And she's grown enough to put herself to bed, so she's going to sleep. Awesome. So this might be the only set of kids we keep in the bed for a little bit. We're just going to read Kate to sleep. And then she's going to read this one to sleep once he gets in bed. And then... Mm, Cheyenne can try to read to this one once she gets into bed. No idea why she's out of bed. I just don't see this is why I knew having like multiple kids is gonna be stressful because it's always that one kid that doesn't listen. Why is she up? You can read to sleep. Like that's like a perfect dream for kids. Let's try. We're gonna try bacon. Luna Sig, Benaya Wallake. Yumpo. Dang, Cheyenne stats almost perfect. Yikla Awogra. Rush. All right. And let's see. Okay, so she's still Oscar. reading, and then when she's good to go, we're gonna have her. Where is the eating option? Grab a serving, and then she's gonna take a shower, and then we'll work on everything else next. Oh, this little girl, she is behind in everything, so we're gonna have her. Oh yeah, so I know, I know you guys. I know, like I haven't been playing for a minute, but I know when I went to go, you played this time. I discovered they made an update, so these but these little dust bunnies should be less irritating. Um. Yeah, they should be less irritating. I'm not exactly sure if they're going to be less irritating. And I know we got like bump beds and stuff like that. So I am about to grab a serving. And bump beds will be really wonderful for this room right here. Because, you know, it could take up less space. And they can have like a dancing area where they can dance. Um, they have dancing leg room. So let's go in the build mode. And let's just see if we can locate what is new. Okay, let's see. But honestly, it's kind of hard because I still like I didn't use any like the country packs like I didn't use any of my packs so let's just see if we can determine what's new is this new yeah see that's a part of a pack so it might be a little hard to like determine what it actually knew and what I just didn't use so we're gonna go into the beds and then we're gonna sort it out by um not custom content so no special 
Oh, we got birthday item styles. No, nope, that's not gonna help. That's base. We wanna go to a base game. Awesome. So let's see if I know. Yeah, we go to bed. Bunk beds right here. Um, interesting. So these remind me of the bunk beds that they had in Sims 3. Yeah. Um, except the Sims 3 bunk beds was the ticket. I ain't gonna lie. So let's just. We're gonna put this up in our inventory because I was kind of thinking it was kind of weird just to have like a dead body there, but I made the executive decision to, to have him do that. Okay, I just want to make sure this fit. All right, see, and then the quality of the beds isn't that good either. Um, like I like the idea of having bunk beds, but you know, when they have a nice quality bed, they sleep a lot better. Okay, let's see what the quality was of the previous bed while I'm over here deleting stuff. Oh yes, yeah, this does too. This is too good of a bed to do what I just did. Um, so what we're gonna do? Cause I still wanna use these beds, and Shiner doesn't technically sleep. If you guys didn't know that, um, we're just gonna switch out maybe one bed or so, just so we can have a little diversity. I know, I know, I know, I know. Ooh, this purple is so cute. Uh, if we can't go against this wall, what's the purpose now? Uh -uh. Okay, well, we could just at least say that we try, okay? I mean, like, when, maybe when we get a new house, we can sit there and we can switch. But I like having a higher quality bed because when they go to sleep, they can sleep for a lot less and wake up in a better mood and lay, lay on a cheap bed because we anything but cheap. So let's see if we notice any other base games. So I know I don't typically, like, play my game like this so let's see I don't see anything in kitchen anything in refrigerator because I don't also I just did the update I was unaware <laughs> like of what actually changed I just knew they had bunk beds I know everybody was talking about bunk beds for some time yeah I don't see anything else I mean I'm not looking too hard I'm like oh maybe, maybe it's a new teddy bear because I see teddy bears lighting up nope it looks about the same but um yeah, I don't see anything else, so if I have missed something, please be sure to let me know, because I'm not exactly sure what was all included in this update besides the bunk beds, and then they're supposed to fix the dust bunny glitch, because this game was just ridiculous with how many times you had to vacuum. But since we're keeping the twin girls here for a little bit longer, um, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to probably use like the age potion on Cheyenne, because, you know, she's not pregnant. Mm and won't become pregnant so we have more room but yeah you know it's like we're just gonna do super efficient baby care because we only have one baby so you know we can do a little bit more I wish if, if she ever comes back all right so she's taking a shower and then we're gonna make sure her fun she's gave up on her shower I don't know why she's. That was weird, but let's let her do her. And then. I can't believe they aged up like this. I mean, it was just. It was just a lot of work with the twins, girls. It was just. These couple kids have not been the best, but let's just do a quick recap of how many kids Miss Cheyenne has had. So, right now, you guys, I think we have the 41st. I believe that's correct, but let's just make sure. Yeah, she has had 41 kids, so we are nine kids away from us getting 50, and that's one. That's why I wanted to focus on this challenge until she went to 50. But nine kids sound like a lot. <laughs> it sounds like so much. Oh my goodness, nine kids. I just can imagine. Cause that's not even including the three kids she just had, or the four kids she just had. That's just oh my goodness. We have a lot of we have we have some ways to go. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna be positive pennies about it. And we're going to assume we're going to get it done as soon as possible and as fast as possible. Alright, so she is in the bathtub. And then she's eating. But yeah, so you guys, so on my Nintendo Switch, this is the topic we're going to have today. So on my Switch, I've been playing um, Animal Crossing. And I know, I just did not realize that it was going to be like a life. Not life, but a real-time game. Because I didn't know anything about Animal Crossing. I don't think I played Animal Crossing since it was like on Game Boy. And I don't even think that it might be Nintendo DS. I might get my um, systems mixed up. But I've been playing it on 
this and I honestly only played for like three real life games so I haven't got much done I know you I know the game has so much more potential once you start getting like more stuff in your trial or island whatever you want to call it I have not gotten pretty I have not gotten far yet because I end up getting the new Harvest Moon game. Well, it's not Harvest Moon. It's called Story of Seasons, but I, it's the same. It's the same princi prin like principles as Harvest Moon, and, and I haven't played Harvest Moon in years, so I'm getting the gist of that. And so far, it's pretty okay. I just wish that like, the dialogue was more interesting, because like this. I mean, I guess for what it is, it is interesting, but it ain't as interesting as like my time at Portia. Like the dialogue there is pretty. I like it. And then I've also been playing Pokemon on there, so I've been playing some games. But yeah, I've been finding some games to play on it, and that's pretty cool. It takes me back, though. I feel like the Switch is really nothing but like a better version of like the DS. That's what it seems like to me as I'm playing it. That's probably why I like it so much. I used to love the DS. Like, I used to love a DS. I still have a DS, and I still play Pokemon games on it. <laughs> Alright, so this cake, for some reason, is right here, and it's been bothering me because I just noticed it. And Shane is talking to herself. What is she doing? Oh, she's spraying under the bed for monsters, which is weird because no one, no kid lives in this room. But I'm gonna leave her alone. And let her do her. And okay, so they finally going to sleep. And I honestly kind of forgot about this little boy for a little minute, and that is a problem. So he's gonna go to sleep as well. And Kate is asleep. Randall is asleep. Kiva is sleep awesome. So if, once he goes to sleep, the time's gonna go faster. So I need him to, to hurry up. And then when he wakes up tomorrow, he has schoolwork and extra credit to do. And Miss Cheyenne, because she actually doesn't have any much things to do and she can't. Her energy is down. How is it possible? She doesn't need to sleep. How is her energy? See, this is what I'm saying about Sam's. Uh-uh, no. So now I'm going to make her go to sleep so her energy can be green. But how in the world is her energy going down? Uh-uh, they got the game messed up now. We all know Miss Cheyenne cannot sleep. Let's make sure she still has her burning streak because that is very weird. Never weary. Uh, I don't know, but this happened when I first got it. So maybe sometimes they require that she sleeps a little bit maybe. I don't know. That I don't know. But I know that better not go down again. And it's not even going up and she's sleeping. Oh, these bugs. Um, step on. Even though they did give us a $10,000 um, piece of art, whatever it was. It was like a, a decorative dish. They still not worth the hassle of having all of them in your house like this. I just can't believe her energy went down even a smidge. That don't even seem right. Oh, look, see, the game did get fixed, you can tell. Because by this time, it'd be so much dust up here. Like, infested with the um the dust. But we'll see. I'm speaking. Maybe I'm speaking prematurely. At least I can at least see the sparkliness downstairs. Oh, this was about to expire. Look, everybody is asleep except the baby. I can't believe they got me having Miss Cheyenne sleep. Like, I don't understand it. I wonder how many lifetime points she has. <laughs> she only has 4,000. And I don't really understand because I tried to get into a stereo mood and start knitting. Please, we'll have a shot of metal. Okay. Awesome. And then we're going to go down here and get super efficient baby care so the baby won't cry. And then, oh, I think we got some knitting clothes. So let's see if she can wear dark red. I'm going to actually dress the baby up. And then we get to look at her when she's dressed up. So I think for as far as music goes, I think for it to count, maybe she got to listen to that, um, that heavy metal knitting music. But I never understood why they chose heavy metal for it. Maybe, I'm, um, maybe it's kind of skipped me with... I'm confused how to change this station. Maybe because this, uh, this radio is so whack. This is the beginner radio, I look like. I didn't know it was a night out in the town, so yeah, maybe this will count for listening to music so she can knit. I, 
didn't know it was out of the, night out count. Like I didn't know that was the calendar day. I saw it, but I didn't put two and two together. And look at her in her little outfit. Oh, look at her. This looks really cute on. That'd be so nice. I need to learn how to knit. That is so adorable on her. So cute. Okay, I don't know why Miss Cheyenne is just doing this, but go ahead, girl. Do you? All right, we're going to make. Let's see, since her cooking level is at 10. Oh, butter chicken. I saw it. Tuna nigiri. We're going to go with a roast the chicken. All right, go ahead, Miss Cheyenne, and get, get to cooking. And then we're going to listen to the music and get to knitting. All right, go ahead, get to cooking. Hey, good luck. I just like that was right there. Okay. We waiting on you, Cheyenne. I need you to move. Do something. We are a global superstar. We are a global. It took forever. I really think the gang was glitching with that because I feel like she was getting so much, like, airtime that it should have took this long. That's really how I feel. She has to get her fun up. But, yeah, they were, they were going to be the main ones messing with the toddlers because we need help. Because we're going to need some help. And then once, you know, they're squared away or we in a good, a better place with the kids, then they can leave. Also, so let's spend a little, let's spend a little bit of simoleons here and get let's get Cheyenne together. So the first things first, we're going to get the kid, the little boy, his little um, his science project, so we can get that together for school. And we're gonna go with this one. Cool. So he has his project. We don't have to worry too much about him. Now, Miss Cheyenne. Oh, look at that dust bunny! It just popped up in it. I really hate wasting like this bed set, but she doesn't sleep, so we're gonna just put it in inventory. I know we're gonna save some money, but it's okay. And then we're gonna get the streaming thingy thing, and I never know how to find it, so the only way I know how to find it is to go by packs. And then we're gonna go by Get Famous. And then we're just going to go to yeah, show all this fine. And we're going to get the thingy thing once I find it. Awesome, so that's good to go for that one. Make sure there's anyone else that we would want or need. Just triple checking before I close out of this. We might be what's that little moodle thing? I'm just gonna get it because it's celebrity like. Alright, so this is basically it. Then Cheyenne no longer has oh we can use this for something, right? Okay, Cheyenne no longer oh, oh this could be a nice little bed we can have. It, it kind of fit her motif if we just have this somewhere. We might we might look into that and then we could just use it and the kids can actually sleep in it. But awesome. So let's see. Just check on the toddlers and kind of see where they're at mood wise. So, yeah, if someone has to give her a bath, he's hungry. And he, she also needs a bath. So, it'd be real nice. You know, real nice if the sisters could do that. So, we're going to just speed it up a little bit. And I think what the cap is for this episode, well, we just kind of go until everybody's just in a good mood lit. And then it looks like tomorrow is the baby's birthday. So, I mean, we could play to, through tomorrow. But I feel like it's just kind of good to kind of stop. So I feel like once we got everybody in a green mood, this will end this first episode. And in the next episode, we have birthdays and hopefully more age-ups. So we're going to just try our best to kind of get everybody in a good mood. And then the next one, we're going to end the episode for this time. All right, so she can just wake up. There's no idea why she's sleeping. Oh, you know, I had her sleeping because I wanted to wait till Cheyenne finished cooking. Now, now I remember it, but it, I guess it makes little to no sense. And I forgot she kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, most definitely kind of forgot she was kind of crazy. 
And then let's see what the sister is doing. Her phone is still at red. I don't know how much fun she's supposed to have in one lifetime. I'm gonna have her take a bubble bath. Oh, this maid is gonna just, okay, that was rude, but whatever, whatever, we do what we want. All right, good thing we got multiple baths, you know, multiple rooms. Her face is breaking out. All right, he can go ahead, go walk over here and grab a serving, and Miss Cheyenne can also grab a serving. And what we're gonna have Miss Cheyenne do, um, we are going to have her actually do an online streaming thing. I feel like that's a good thing to do. Make sure she's still in the public eye. Hey, look, she. I think about all. I forgot we got money, so that's about all. Other uh, can. Uh, oh, this mouse though. Before we stream, we gotta make sure this mouse is gone. Stump on vacuum. And that stump on tip is very useful because that's uh, that's how we getting rid of them. Oh, why is he eating dessert? I forgot we was going to have her knit. Oh my goodness, I done kind of forgot the gameplay. But we're going to have her knit tomorrow. We're going to have her do what I just said we was going to do today. They are very rude to go in there and get dessert when they just see that their mother has cooked the whole meal. Okay, grab a serving. Oh, why is she mad at see? Oh, wow, fat fit. She's tense from the dirt. That's really rude. Use and question right. That's how he's going to use that. Okay, so she's getting a bath. I don't know who's giving her a bath, but no. So when she's finished eating, she can give her the daughter, one of the babies, a bath. Give a bath to her, and then give bath to this one. All right. So since he's finished eating, he needs a bath as well, but it's not as bad. Okay, so what skills has he achieved? Nothing. Okay, I'm not that surprised, but dang, nothing? I haven't played with a toy. Okay, look at her helpful. Okay, we might gotta switch one of these into another bathtub, because it's gonna take her forever one by one, Ooh, giving them a bath. Are. But whatever, we'll see. Alrighty. Go oh, look, she finished every bite. Good job. And I don't know where he's at. Oh, he's right here. That was weird. Alright, so that's what they're doing. Oh, look, her parenting skills. So she's going to be ready to be a mom soon. That's the one. All right, this baby. And then we'll have her do super efficient baby care on that one, and then she's gonna take a, you know, record forever. For a whole day. I wonder why when she gives them a bath, they always get like hair, hair accessories that they didn't have. Oh, he got. She wanna give one of the kids a bath upstairs. That'd be really nice. And then she can get bath to the boy. That'd be useful. Oh, my darling. Awesome. And then he can start playing. And she can give him a bath. Look at this. Already seems to be in a good flow. No idea what she's doing. Did she take care of the baby? Yeah, she did. Okay, cool. So we're going to have her stream now. Go ahead and make it keep staying being famous. And then she's giving him a bath. And she's eating. And then what else will she have to do? So she's going to be in a good mood after that. Awesome. Okay, yeah. It'd be useful if I had three people teaching them how to talk, which we could if I didn't put Shane in to do that 24 hour streaming thing. So we're gonna have one, two of them teaching them how to talk, and then one's just gonna be doing something else. 
Any of them independent? Because if one is independent, they can just use the potty. Oh, she's independent. Okay. So she is going to use the potty and not get taught anything, which is fine. So since she stepped away, she got two hours to get her affairs in order, or this little uh, 24 hour streaming thing is going to be over. I have no idea why everybody's going upstairs. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Love it, day, Boris. Well, she ain't even step away. Yakalau Dunba, Rugi Payoon. Oh, we only got one hour left. Ah. I don't know how we only got one hour left because she hasn't stepped away at all, but. Okay, that was. Yeah, my game is glitching. It's really because of the mods. It's always because of the mods. Always because of the mods. <laughs> but if I don't play with mods, then the outfits will be not cute. And at the end of the day, you know. Wow, so we gotta do. Oh, wow, it's over. They canceled it. The game just glitched so hard. That was so wrong. That was terrible. That was terrible. That was not the way it's supposed to go. Well, we tried. We tried to do the streaming. The game glitched. You know, it's whatever. You know, it's fine. It's not fine. I'm really irritated about it, but it's whatever. Now, which one? Okay, that's not her. It's this one. Oh, he finished his extra credit, though. That was nice. You know, it don't like he did a good job. He only did good. I feel like we dropped the ball. We dropped the ball. We're going to try the 24 hour streaming at another time, I guess. I really kind of think it's Cheyenne is glitching like this because it's like anytime I have her do something, it just don't work. It doesn't work. Um, is this baby sedated? No. So I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. I'm going to watch TV on this computer. And who threw up? Why is it so dirty? Awesome. And let's check on the kids. Like almost everybody's in a good mood. Oh, she pregnant. 24 is pregnant, you guys. Now, I am shocked. Like, she's pregnant with a lot of kids, too. Yes, we're going to celebrate her pregnancy. Oh, my goodness. 24 is pregnant. You guys, y'all yeah, remember 24. I kind of don't really remember her. <laughs> but it's okay. We know she preg she's pregnant. I think she didn't want to have a twin brother, I think. She is so pregnant. I'm curious. Oh, she had the same outfit? Why does she have the same outfit on? Uh, that's weird. Uh-uh. Okay, so she's only been an adult for a day. Oh, she was a young adult when she left. Okay, she's been an adult for a day. That's who she's pregnant by. Somebody named Koti Jang, and it's like she's pregnant with a boy. And because she's on Cheyenne's lot, even though it says one kid, it's probably going to be two because she's on this pregnancy lot. And this lot gives you twins. So, what's a high chance she's going to have twins? Oh, you can do the 24 streaming thing on here? I did not know that. I probably did because it seemed like something I would know. I wish Cheyenne would go up here and spend time with Big Kid because Big Kid is really mad. And I need Big Kid to be in a good mood so we can switch off and be done with this episode. Come on, Cheyenne. I'm just, you, I believe in you. Just spend some time with her. She's on everything goes. I know. I know she's tired of having all these kids and having to actually get to see them sometimes. But this is just ridiculous at this point. I didn't try to have her touch this little girl. That sounds weird. But I played with this little girl for a long time and nothing is happening. She's steady talking to the other one. Oh, he did his homework. He's doing a good job today. Bear is doing really good today. All right, so what we're going to do now, because <laughs> a lot of stuff is going on, so I'm going to hurry up and just get everybody in a good mood. Cheyenne is not listening to anybody, so that's her, you know, that's her problem and her prerogative. I want to actually have her vacuum. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, she doesn't have a vacuum, so, well, there's not much she can really do. She can take a nap. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. She's just stressed. Maybe she has dislike kids or something. Cause I don't understand why this is so red. Look, <laughs> look at that glitch. The baby's in between her legs. 
she's carrying her like like an egg, and they just gonna let her just carry her like an egg. Yeah, my game is super glitching right now. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, so she's finally getting some attention, so her, her mood is getting better. And how's the little boy? His fun is down, but I can't fix that. Alrighty, you guys. So my game, for some reason, is glitched. I mean, it's not for some reason. We know for a fact. They all, they all copying off of Cheyenne's outfit, so that's different. Um, so next episode, it will be the babe, the youngest, the 44. 41st, whatever this baby, this baby name, 41's birthday next episode, and then hopefully they be like, at least someone's going to school, and we could continue building the toddler skills, but I am going to end the episode here, I'm your host Queen Insomnia, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.